What's happening world? You're very welcome back to another rendition of The Rant Cafe. The Rant Cafe is a series of videos where I rant about the many things that I want to get off my chest and maybe you do too by heading down to the comments area by telling me your thoughts or submitting a video response by noting the video response hashtag included in the description box. So in this episode of The Rant Cafe, I'm ranting about face masks. More specifically, people who are not wearing their face masks correctly. If you've gone to the trouble of wearing a face mask, please, for the love of God, wear the damn thing correctly. So there have been a multitude of folks out there simply not wearing their masks correctly. Firstly, we have what I like to call our elephant impersonators. I call them elephant impersonators because, well, for a better term, they look like elephants and that is your mask wearers wearing their masks underneath their noses. You really don't want to be doing that because it makes the entire ordeal of wearing a mask totally pointless. Plus if you sneeze you could be passing your nasty COVID particles to me and others around you. So please 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 take your face mask and cover your nose. Then we have a bunch of geniuses who seem to think that face masks which have been recommended by healthcare organizations to prevent the spread of COVID-19 are a chin strap. Just like this guy, and then this guy who appears to be coughing into his hand, which is the easiest way to spread COVID-19 because it is spread through the hands. And then this lovely group of people, one of which doesn't seem to be wearing a mask at all. Then of course, we have this next situation. Well, what can I say about this? This next course of action is so bad that it's literally filled with holes. And I do believe that I'm using the term literally in its correct sense. What are they doing? What is the mindset here? Oh no, don't tell me. Let me guess. It makes them breathe better. I hope they remember that if and when they do contract COVID, Let's see how well they breathe then. And next up in our montage of geniuses is a very, very special person. And when I use the word geniuses, I am of course referring to this in the sense of the entire and utter opposite meaning of this word in every sense. Because honestly, this next image not only illustrates stupidity, and don't get me wrong, stupidity certainly comes into it, because there is certainly an issue with a lacking of IQ going on here. Okay, whatever, I'll just show the image. Okay, first of all, wow. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by saying, this is definitely a type of person that is prone to propaganda. First of all, I think that's fair to say especially judging from their fashion sense. Oh, and of course, he's wearing a freaking mask on his eyes. Come on, talk about being blinded by your hatred of science and facts. Oh wait, I almost forgot. He's from that community that only cares about alternative facts. Oh well, I wouldn't be too surprised if he's best buds with this guy. Although, I do have to admire the sheer craftsmanship and patience of applying his mask in this way. Still not entirely sure what exactly he's trying to accomplish with this. Clearly he is not trying to prevent the spread of the coronavirus, that's for sure. Maybe he's just come out of a tough breakup and he wants to remain single for a while. If that is indeed his master plan, this could be a very, very effective tactic in order to achieve that goal. So if you were going to go to the effort of purchasing a face mask and wearing a face mask, please don't be a douchebag. Wear the thing properly. Don't wear it like a chin strap. Don't have your nose sticking out like an elephant. Don't be wearing it on your head or your eyes. Wear the damn thing properly. And if you're unsure how to wear a face mask properly, I have a pack right here and I will show you. Open the pack like so. Take your mask by the string like so. And once you do that, you need to have the, if it's a surgical mask, it's got two sides. It's got this side here, which is blue, and this side here, which is white. So you turn around the blue side, still holding it by the strings. And what you need to do is you need to feel for the flexible part. The flexible part goes above your nostrils. So 
place it above the nostrils. Take your strings, place them around your ears like so. And you can touch the front of the mask providing it is only on the top and bottom section. You position like so. This top section molds to the shape of your nose. You can press down like so. And that is how you wear a face mask. I would suggest breathing very slowly and gently through your nose so that you can breathe more correctly and not cutting holes through the mask, which will be entirely pointless and useless to do so. Then when you're finished wearing the mask, remove it with the strings and dispose of it into a bin or trash by holding it by the strings and disposing it. It's really that simple. Remember that wearing a face mask contributes to preventing the spread of the coronavirus. It won't prevent the spread of the coronavirus that in of itself on its own. You should still be taking the other recommended measures that is recommended by most healthcare organizations, such as good hand hygiene. This means using an alcohol sanitizer, especially when out in public, be it in a supermarket or be it on public transport. And if you've got very sensitive skin, sensitive hands like me, you can also use a hand cream in order to prevent your skin from drying out. And then of course, good social distancing is very, very much recommended whenever possible. Most health organizations are recommending a good two meters away from other people when possible. I cannot emphasize enough that wearing a face mask, a face covering is not a sign of defeat. It is a sign that you have taken the time to understand the dangers of the coronavirus, understand the dangers of what it means if you spread the coronavirus to other people or possibly contract it yourself. It is a sign that you take this global pandemic very seriously and that you care about others around you too. So please wear a face mask when out in public. Be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And until next time, everyone, remember that nerds rule the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. What?